Hello viewers, welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session, I am going to explain you the definitions of cosmetics as per Indian and EU regulation. EU here refers to European Union regulations. So, if you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates and notifications. This topic has been taken from the module 1 from the subject cosmetic science which is elective in B Farm 8 semester. So without wasting the time let us begin the session. So when we try to understand the definitions my dear students different regulatory agencies have different definitions more or less they have the same uh, thing to be understood same purpose same everything but the languages which have been used more or less I don't say 100% they are same every regulatory agencies recognizes cons cosmetics every regulatory agencies have identified the substances which have to be uh, categorized into cosmetics because it is very pertinent and important to understand that cosmetics have different purposes from the for prescription drugs but at the same time we need to understand that both of them either we take the prescription drugs or cosmetics we are keenly concerned with the safety efficacy of the cosmetics so as in context of the Indian regulations if you talk about the reg re Indian regulation definitions for cosmetics it simply says that it is as per the drugs and cosmetics act 1940 it simply says any article intended to be rubbed poured, sprinkled or sprayed on or introduced into or otherwise applicated to the human body or any part thereof for cleansing, beautifying, promoting attractiveness or altering the appearance and includes any article intended for use as a component of the cosmetics. So my dear students, you can see the definition clearly talks about the rubbing part, pouring, sprinkling, spraying uh, or introduced into. So it covers the wide range of the cosmetics and the purpose of uh, use the cosmetics is either for the cleaning beautifying promoting the attractiveness or altering the appearance so it is concerned with the beautifying purpose now apart uh, from the drugs and cosmetics act which is focused for the regulations of the cosmetics one more uh, organization comes into picture when we talk about the marketing for the cosmetics that is about the labeling declarations by the bureau of indian standards now bureau of indian standards provides the guidelines for how the product should be labeled you must have seen that cosmetic products are like um, they are being marketed they are the OTC product they are not prescribed by the doctors and uh, for that purpose they have to meet the labeling standards why it is important because any company which wanted to market the product would like to have the lucrative labeling but lucrative labeling should not be deceiving they should uh, expose what has been used during the manufacture of the product and they there is a specified guide standards set up by the Bureau of Indian Standards which clearly tells you how the labeling has to be laid down for the cosmetic products so Bureau of Indian Standards also known as BIS sets the standards for cosmetics for the products which are listed under the schedule S of the drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 now it provides for various number of products like shampoos cream lipsticks so they have set up the labeling instructions for each set of the cosmetic products now talking about the rules, the rule 134 for the drugs and cosmetic rules has laid down the restrictions on the use of cosmetics which contains the dyes, colors and pigments other than those specified by the Bureau of Indian Standards and Schedule Q. The rule 145 of the drugs and cosmetic rules also prohibits the use of lead and arsenic compounds in cosmetics for the purpose of coloring. Rule 135 prohibits the import of cosmetics in which a lead or arsenic compound has been used for the coloring purpose rule 145d and 135a prohibits the manufacture and import respectively of cosmetics containing the mercury product because mercury is otherwise very harmful 
Now talking about the definition of cosmetics as per the European Union regulations. So the European Union cosmetic the directives, they are they provide the guidelines in the form of the directives. So th their directive defines cosmetics as any substance or preparation which is intended to be placed in contact with the various external parts of the human body. For example, epidermis, hair system, nails, lips and external genital organs or with the teeth and the mucous membranes of the oral cavity with a view exclusively or mainly to clean them, perfuming them, changing their appearance or correcting body odors or, or protecting them or keeping them in good condition. So you can say it not only covers your all the cosmetic products for, which are used for enhancement and beautification but also cover your oral products like your toothpaste or your mouthwashes etc. Apart from that it also includes the cleaning products ranging from soaps and everything. Other things to be noted down here is that the European Union requires that the cosmetic products which are placed in the European Union market should be completely safe. That is why they must not cause any sort of the damage to the human health when applied under the normal or reasonably foreseeable conditions of use. As in the US manufacturers are responsible for ensuring that cosmetic products comply with the law before they are marketed. The manufacturer or the importer of cosmetic is responsible for demonstrating that the product is completely safe for its intended use. Regulations are therefore enforced at the national level and each country in the EU has an authoritative body that is responsible for upholding the compliance. So more or less you can say European Union directives also provide you the guidelines to ensure that whatever cosmetics have been formulated it is completely safe and it should serve the purpose which is intended to be used in any way it should not cause any sort of the harm to the body so you can see my dear students that as per the indian context and as per the european union concept more or less the definition for the cosmetics is focused cursed for beautifying, for enhancement, for increasing the attractiveness, for cleaning, for the same purposes and also at the same time they are to be applied, to be used for the oral cavity or to be used on the skin. So they are more or less having the same sort of the product classified under the uh, under as a cosmetics. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates. Thank you so much my dear students. In case of any doubt or query, you can anytime uh, uh, provide your views in the comment section. Thank you so much everyone.